This math game is called Divide and Conquer, and as the title suggests, it's a great game to practice your division facts. Um, to prepare your deck, get rid of all your face cards. You do not need them for this game. And this is going to be a game between me and my imaginary friend, Bob. Um, again, I'm going to have the cards face up, and each player is dealt four cards to start the game. The object of the game is to be the first person to get rid of all the cards in your hand. And that's it. Okay, so you have a draw pile in the middle. And when it's your turn, you take one card, and then you try to see if there's a pair that you can discard. The way that you make a pair is you look for any number that can divide into another number. So for example, two can go into four. It can also go into six, so that could be my pair. Ace is a one, so it can go into any of these. I'm going to save my ace for now for maybe a seven or some other card that's hard to get rid of later on. And let's see, I'm just going to go ahead and do two and six as my pair. And I just discard it. Nobody can take this card, it's just done. All right, now it's Bob's turn. Bob draws a card. He has a five and a ten. And that's a good pair because the only numbers I can get rid of a five are one and five or 5 and 5, or 5 and 10. And so he's going to use that up. Okay, now it's my turn again. I draw a card, and I could do ace into any of these, or I could do 3 into 9, and I'm going to do 9 divided by 3 is 3. It's Bob's turn. And now Bob sees that, oh, he has two sixes. So you can do 6 divided by 6 is 1. Okay, it's my turn again. I have a 5. Well, none of them really easily go into each other, so it's time to use my ace. 5 divided by ace is, or by 1, is 5. That's it. Bob's turn. Pulls a card, and wow, he had the exact same cards as me. Makes the same decision. And puts a 5 in the ace. 5 divided by 1 is 5. It's my turn again. Oh, well, 4 doesn't go into 7, and 7 can't go into 4. So, that's it. I don't get to do anything this turn. It's Bob's turn. He's hoping for an ace, or a two, or a four, or an eight. Those can all get rid of that four. And he gets a nine. Oh, nothing he can do here, so it's my turn again. Mm -hmm. close again. The first person to get rid of their 10. <laughs> okay, Bob wins at the very end of the deck. And if he didn't win there, we would just take these out, shuffle it, and continue. But there's no need because we finished the game there. That's it. Divide and conquer.